$175, 200 bucks. No chemicals getting through here. I'm all good. They say this is from Mars. Hey, thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed part two. Found a lot of cool stuff in part two, a lot of cool stuff in part one. There's still tons of cool stuff left to find. Make sure you hit that bell, like, and subscribe. Um, and, now, and when we did the outro on part one, we uh, brought in one of my kids, and I said family plays a big role in my business. I enjoy doing it. So I'm going to introduce you to the other half. I got twins, Kayla. We introduced you in the first part. We're going to introduce Cullen, her twin brother, in the second part. So hopefully you'll see these guys in some videos. They got a lot of good information. A lot of good information to share, too. They're in the business. Hopefully they're a the future of this business. Hopefully one day they'll take over the business. I don't know. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Hey, but this is a good ex good business if you want to involve your family. You spend a lot of extra time with your family that you might not have in a 9-to-5 job or 8-to-4 job. So with that said, hit that bell, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for Part 3. You do not want to miss Part 3. There's some really cool stuff coming out of Part 3. We discovered a whole bunch of treasures, Part 1 and 2. Watch Part 3. Do not miss Part 3. Hit that bell, like, and subscribe. Tell your friends. Hey, so welcome to Part 3 of the video. A lot of cool stuff you can see in the background. Check it out over here. We still got probably 50, 60 boxes to go through. I don't know if we'll show everyone on video, but we'll give you a gist of what everything is. A lot of cool stuff to find. This locker has produced and produced and produced and produced. Right, so with that said, let's get into the unboxing. So we had a box break on us a few minutes ago. And we got in it and we found a slingshot. Old slingshot. Got some rubber, rubber uh, slingshot balls. That's pretty cool. Not much value, maybe 20 bucks worth of fun. Um, we got a tote here, knives. This one looks like it's got some cool stuff in it. A lot of, a lot of knives in this. <clears throat> one thing about knives, don't discount knives that you find. Some of them are really high in knives. We sold a knife about two weeks ago. I think Sog made it, SOG. That knife was no bigger than four or five inch pocket knife. 450 bucks online, all day long, sold. I think we listed it for six. Somebody made us $450 offer, we took it. <clears throat> we got a meat cleaver. I don't see a name on it. It looks like a custom built meat cleaver, but heavy. A little knife sheath, sog. I was just talking about sog. There's a sog sheath for a knife. Hopefully the knives in here. There's a sog. We got a GGG hatchet tomahawk style. <clears throat> Bowie knife. I don't see a name on that one, but Still cool knife. K bar, military style K bars. I know all about these. We were issued these in the Marine Corps. Um, very common in the military. It's got a, it hooks to your uh, bayonet. Goes around the end of the rifle. This is not a military grade one, but it's still a cool knife. I don't see a name on it, but sheath. We got a sheath there. Probably fits one of these knives. <clears throat> got another little knife there. That one looks like it's a custom built knife to go on the end of some kind of weapon. If you look at the bottom of it. There's a saw right there. So there's a saw. I don't know what this one's worth, but I would be willing to say, based on that little pocket knife saw we sold the other day and what we've seen on saws, this is probably at least a $40, $50 bill. No. Got another knife. This one's made in Ontario, USA. Spec Plus Fighter. SP5-95. That's a military style knife as well. With the sheath. Knife sharpener. There's a sheath for a knife. Got another one. That's probably your uh, cover for that tomahawk you found earlier. Got another knife. Bayonet style. That one actually it looks like it's custom made too. Looks on the end of a weapon. And this is easy. $150 box all day long, minimum. Got a box here that says metals, metals, coins, and beret. All right, so this is probably some of the the previous owners, military stuff. You got the, I think that's the, I'm pretty sure that's a major rank insignia in the army. Army. <clears throat> that's a little beret where it's got a metal in here. So that's called a ribbon bar right there in the military. That's all the ribbons the guy, the, um, the former military member, the veteran, he um, earned while he was in service. Each one, if you look, a little trick on ribbons, if you, if you don't know anything about the military, each of these ribbons 
have a place to go in a ribbon holder. It's based off uh, ranking of the ribbon or the metal. So some ribbons don't don't have a metal that accompanies them. Some ribbons have a metal that accompanies them. So this is called a ribbon bar. These little stars you see on them and palm trees, it's, I think they're palm trees, leaves on there. <clears throat> That's how many times he earned that award. So each color star represents, you know, maybe one year, maybe five years. Um, some of these, and every branch has their own ribbon. Some of them carry over to all the branches. So for instance, this little red one right here is a National Defense Medal. Um, every branch has the opportunity to earn that ribbon, where there might be Army ribbons and, and Marine Corps ribbons and Navy ribbons. Navy and Marine Corps have a lot. They share a lot because the Marine Corps is the Department of Navy. For all you military guys, the Marine Corps is the Men's Department. Um, that's a joke. The military guys will get it. These are called challenge coins. And I'll put them out here and put them out on the table for you. But these are very common in the military. <clears throat> you see them all the time. Every unit has one. The president has a challenge coin. So he comes up. If you do something with the president, secretary of Navy, um, the Army general, whoever, the commandant of the Marine Corps, they each have their challenge coins. The units have challenge coins. These are really cool. I collect these. Love having them. I got display cases at home. I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. I don't care. I, don't, I collect every single one. Army, Marine Corps, Navy, it doesn't matter. These things are really cool. The whole purpose of these is if two veterans are sitting at a bar, you know, they originated, two veterans are sitting at a bar somewhere and they were in the same unit and it's years after they get out or while they're in even. And one of the veterans reaches into his pocket, pulls it out, lays it on the, lays it on the bar like that. Um, the other veteran or military member that's in his unit, if he doesn't have his challenge coin on him, he's got he's to buy rounds that night, <clears throat> buy him a drink. That's where challenge coins originated. These boxes are empty right here. But this is probably some of the stuff that we've, you know, maybe found or not found yet. But it's a whole box of empty boxes, so that's pretty cool. We can match up the figures we found from earlier, match them up with the boxes. All right, so let's open a box. Let's see what we got. So, my guess, if it falls in the same line as everything else, it's going to be some kind of military toy. All right, so this is pretty cool. Military toy. Now, this thing's heavy right here. This thing's made of metal. Some kind of tank motorcycle truck. My guess, World War II, probably German. Um, motorcycle front, got tracks on it, handlebars, moves. This is actually made of metal. It's pretty heavy. So we got a bag. I think we might have some good here. It's uh, raw seeds written on the bag. Let's open her up and see. All right, we got another gun. I've had these before. Um, this is a probably made by Taurus. Let me see. Yep, made by Taurus. It's a combination. Taurus makes a lot of combination on guns. This one right here is a 22 410. Looking at it. So what it is, it puts together. You put it in there. The barrel goes like that. That clicks down. That goes in there. You unscrew that little screw, and we'll do it for you real quick. And you got your little 22. It also comes with a 410 barrel. Taurus makes, Taurus makes these in a couple different sizes. I think retail, these things run like $175, 200 bucks. That's basically the purpose of it. It's not a gun that you're gonna take out and shoot all the time, but it's one you can throw in your, you know, your your bug out bag if, is what they call it. If you're a, a prepper, um, breaks down real easy. Got another box. Hopefully we'll get my son involved in this video. He's being camera shy now. Hopefully he'll come in the video. We'll get him involved. That what you do is boring. I say, look, there's a lot of people that want to know about this stuff. There's a lot of people that like this kind of stuff. Hey, prove dad right and the kids wrong. Subscribe, hit the bell, show your friends, help us grow. Help me prove my kids wrong. That dad sometimes knows what he's talking about. Subscribe, hit the bell, share, comment. All right, so this box, we've got a, another hand grenade body. We found a couple of them earlier. Two machetes. Pistol clip. All right, so in part two or part one, we found some Kevlar helmets. These are Kevlar helmets. They just don't have the covers on them, but a couple more Kevlar helmets. Pistol clip. All right, so in part two or part one, we found some Kevlar helmets. These are Kevlar helmets. They just don't have the covers on them, but a couple more Kevlar helmets. 
I've got a bag of I don't know what. Let's see what we got in here. Some pouches, some straps. Looks like it's some Kevlar helmet straps going around chin strap. That's about what all this is, strap. All right, let's have a friendly competition. I'm gonna bring Cullen into the video. He's gonna pick out a box. I'm gonna pick out a box. You guys let us know in the comment who won, who had the coolest item. So out of any box that we have left, I'm gonna let Cullen pick one, and I'm gonna pick one. We'll go through the video together. Me and Cullen will go through the video together. You let us know in the comment, who's the winner? Who's the winner? Did dad beat the son or son beat the dad? So I'm gonna bring Cullen in, pick out a box. Cullen, grab you a box. Don't be camera shy, come on, grab you a box. Any box you want. He's grabbing some names, he's gonna pick this box out. We'll do his box. Hey, again, let us know who wins. We'll show you whatever each one of us picks out. And we'll show you, and you, hey, you guys vote. Who wins? Father, son. So, <laughs> he don't look like he's too happy with his box, but you never know. The first thing Cullen picked out, a little file drawer. Got a little basket. Uh-oh, there's some cool stuff in the bottom. I see it. He ain't do too bad. He might want to keep that. I don't know if we're going to put that for sale. He likes raccoons. <laughs> Hey, motivational sticker for the day. One solution comes up every morning. All right, what's he putting on my head? Oh, got a little bear. Got a plate, a little box, some trash. This trash. What is it? Trash. Skull. There we go. I don't know what kind of animal this is. You know what kind of animal? That's his lower jaw. That's probably a bear. It's actually pretty cool. World tour. All the way airborne. World War One, France. That's pretty cool. That's a military shirt. These shirts like this, this little rock and roll shirts, they can be bring some big money. What do you got? Uh oh, he's got a scope. What scope he got. NC Star. He's got a snake. Alright. We found a lot of these so far. Whole box of Lord of the Ring toys. I'll show I'll lift it up. There's some Star Trek toys. Got some Star Trek toys, some Lord of the Rings. Action figures. Got a guy with a bag over his head. Hey, if you know what any of this stuff is, let us know. Comment. Got a dragon with a knight. Skull broken. Horns broken off of it. All right. So now Colin's picked his box. I'm gonna pick my box. Should I make this fair? I'm gonna pick out a box for me. What do you guys think? I'm saying he's got a good box. Pretty good box. Maybe not as cool as some other stuff. Had a couple cool things in it. But I'm gonna make it fair. I'm gonna let him pick out my box. You gotta be realistic. You picked a pretty good sized box. Don't give me something tiny. No, that don't work. That don't work. You gotta pick out something. You gotta give me a fighting shot. All right, he's gonna give me a box that says one eight dragon figures. Uh oh, he might have he might have messed up here. I think he messed up when he picked my box out. Check these out. Little military figures. Whole box of them. We got a pile of them. So these are made by, let's see here, Action 18. Different soldiers. Hold some up. Should I keep my camera? Hold some up. Got some action figures. Um, manufacturer's Dragoon. Looks like the dates on the back of these are 2003. We got all different ones. We got bar gunners. We got snipers. We got riflemen. We got more bar gunners. We got a machine gun. We got a scout sniper. Here's a scout sniper right there. So let's, let's look on eBay or Amazon real quick. Let's see if we can get an idea on value on these. I'll scan one real quick. All right, so we found them. It looks like they run about 20, 25 bucks a piece. Um, Amazon has none of them listed. There's listings for them, but nobody, there's no sellers. 21 times 15, so it looks like about 250, $275 right here in these toys. So you let us know in the comments who won the box competition. We'll do another one. My daughter, she's on the way in. We'll get her to work. And we'll see. We'll do another competition. Let us know in the comments. Cullen, he wins with his raccoons and snakes and uh, action figures and hats and karate belts. Or dad win with his uh, U.S. Army military figures. I guarantee my box, if we went to battle, my box beats his box in battle. So we'll, we'll clean these up, put these away. All right, we got another box. This one looks like it's got a tank in it. Our Army Jeep. And a artillery cannon. So we got an artillery cannon. I heard somebody come in the door. Do we have a special guest today? Do we have a special guest today? 
Uh oh, special guest Kayla here. She's coming from her big sleepover lap. Tell them. That's Tell them. right. No. No. You're messing up now. This <laughs> is <laughs> hey, we got a Jeep, military Jeep, little plastic model. I don't think that artillery can. It might hook to the back of it right there, but I'm pretty sure it don't mount. There's a mountain hole for a machine gun on it. But that's a plastic model. So why don't we do a competition with Kayla? We did a competition with Cullen. He lost. I don't know who lost. You guys vote. But I say he lo he lost. You guys might say he wins. Hey, Cullen's friends. If you cheat and, and blow the comments up with Cullen won, Cullen won, Cullen won. Remember, I might be your baseball coach this year. So we're going to do another competition. This time, we're going to have Kayla pick out a box. We'll have to go through it with her. And then I'll pick out a box. Let us know in the comment. Dad win, Kayla win. You let us know. Go first. All right, she wants me to go first because she says I'm going to cheat. I don't know what's in the boxes. She doesn't know what's in the boxes. Hey, this is the first time we've seen it as well. Big old tooth. Let's see what's in it. Oh, my God. All right, cool stuff. But it's going to be hard for me to win this one. It's not like the last one. So in this one, this is climbing gear for repelling. So we got his hat, got his climbing rope, his hooks, his harnesses. I don't know what this stuff goes for. Um, black diamond rock climbing, safety latches. So these are rope tighteners. If you watched the video, the first video we put out, we found some of this stuff um, more for contractor use. This is for rope climbing here. We got his carabiner. Um, here's some carabiners right here. Screw in carabiners. Um, carabiners, I like carabiners. I got one of my keys. You guys see? Never lose my keys. Got a little carabiner. Run on the belt loop. Keys are always there. She goes right for the biggest box we got. Oh, man. I think I might have lost. Ha <laughs> you suck. I think, you can't say that on video. What are you doing? She's got military toys. Are they in the box? That's the question. Are these empty boxes for ones we found? Or are they in the box? Let's see. Alright, so that one's there. That's a, uh, you guys gonna see it. That's a, uh, RPZ B-54 Panzer Shrek Cannon. We got okay. two figures. Actually, it might be one. Oh, Velcro. All right, he's in the box. His little tactical equipment is right there. It's falling down. Is there another guy that's supposed to be there? There might be another guy that's supposed to get there, an accessory, but I'm pretty sure we probably have an accessory. But the guy's in the box. His hat's in the box. He's got a military sword or cane. So that's a German guy. He's got a little cane. And we got an empty box. We got a horse. There's the horse. Check that out. It's pretty cool. Let's open this up. Let's come over. You dropped the horseshoe. There you go. She said I dropped the horseshoe. Is that an English or Western saddle? English. That's an English. She says English. I'm going to go with Western. It's English. It's got a horn on it. No, it don't. No, it don't. No, it, no, it don't. My bad. Soldiers already in there. Let's see. Not looking good on this box. It might be empty. Oh, uh, she got some accessories. I don't know if you can see that. Got some accessories in the box. The figures are here. We've been pulling figures out left and right. So I guarantee the figures are here. It's just researching, matching up, putting the figures back. This is actually a lady, lady figure named Sophia. We got another German soldier. He's there. Sergeant Major Wolfman. He's in there. It's heavy. I can tell it's in there. There you go. So that, that looks like it's probably complete. Another soldier there. That's Kurt Meyer. Hey, if you guys know about these toys, let us know. We don't know. We're going to do a lot of research on these. So let us know. Who won that? Kayla's box? Richard's box? I think I did. I think I did. My common rope. My no, common rope. No, I did. With what? What did, you, what did we just find? With all these World War II figures. World War II figures. She doesn't even know what it is, so she automatically loses. No, we'll let you decide. Put in the comment who I wins. Win. All right, we got the old Patton's Jeep. All right, so we won't pull it out. It's probably parts that we put together, but I don't know if you guys can see the Jeep. It's actually upside down. Let me turn it around.
patent Jeeps in there. Parts I can hear bouncing around, so. Got a Chewy box. Bubble wrap all that, but as you can see in the box, we got another Jeep, military Jeep. Check this out. It's just one of about 15 we got. All right, so this is pretty cool. This has got to be made of metal. Let me get this out of you guys see it? Military scout car, made of metal. Probably about two and a half foot long, maybe a little longer. Um, another cool little collector's car. This box right here is probably at least three foot long. It says Opal Blitz truck, large German. It's a large metal military style truck, made of metal. The, uh, the side rails are wood, the top's metal. But if you guys can see, it's probably about three foot long at least. Check that out. That's, that's a cool find. That, that right there, I'm not sure what the value is, but easy $100 all day long, if not probably more than that. Probably way more than that. I might be way off. Like I said, this is not our specialty. We don't find a lot of this military collector high-end stuff like this. Um, so we have to research it, but another cool piece. We got two toys here, scale, one six size. So it looks like most of this stuff is a one, one six size scale. Um, this is a German motorcycle. The manufacturer is, I'm assuming World War II soldier stories. Like I said, we have to research all this stuff. Um, they're probably both in there. I'll pull one out and we'll see. But, all right, so there we go. So we got a German motorcycle. Again, the value, all this stuff is, is, is sort of newer for us. So, um, Soldier Story, that might be the manufacturer. 2011 Soldier Story, 150 to $300 range. Um, they look a little cheaper made than these. These, um, if you know anything about these, hey, comment, let us know. There's the box right there. One six scale, back of the box again. It's just gonna say, this, this business takes a lot of research. You gotta have to research a lot of things. We learn every single day, multiple things to the day. So another two cool pieces. I, I would say minimum, you know, we might be way off. We probably low, if or anything, we're, we're low. A um, hundred bucks a pop. You gotta get Get a handle both sides. Guarantee it's in there. I'll pull it out. All right, there it is. Cadillac German car. All right, there it is. Cadillac German car. Radio control. Classic radio control series. I guarantee these things are expensive. Don't discount remote control cars. Remote control cars can get very pricey. People love them. Easy sell. I mean, imagine your neighbor. So we got a remote control tank. I just saw two back there. We'll get to that in a minute. Imagine your neighbor. Little kid next door. He's run his little remote control car. He got from Walmart all up and down your driveway. And you pull out your three foot Cadillac. And you just cruise by him. That'd be cool. You pull out your tank and you just run over his little remote control car. Hey, maybe you invite him over and you have a tank battle. We got two remote control cars. These things are cool. They retail for four eighty one seventy nine to five fourteen eighty. Resale price found it right on the internet. Um, the value is probably way more than that now. They probably made a limited production run on these. This one seems to be in good shape. Um, we don't know a whole lot. I mean, this thing is mint. French Renaissance. Returd. I think it says Returd. I'm not lying. I think it says Returd. Hey, what's the bottom of that word say? Returd. All right, so we got some more action figures. Probably some of these figures probably get some of the boxes we found earlier. Um, we found a bunch of these, you know, part one, part two. I've been finding a ton of action figures, but, you know, we'll open one up real quick. There you go. One six scale figure, guy's machine gun. Man, it's ready. Cool little figures. Like I said, I think these things I could probably get 10 bucks a piece minimum. Got a tank. And another tank. So we got a couple tanks. Tank battles right there. Current work. All right, so cool. Here we got some more of them army men. We found some earlier, I think, in one of the challenges. I think it was when I was facing Cullen. And I got a whole tote of these. We got another whole tote of these guys. We got some squad leaders, some more scout snipers. We got some squad gunners. So we got a whole another tote of these. Probably another, I think we said earlier, 10 bucks a piece, 15 bucks a piece, somewhere in there. I think we had 23 of them earlier. You know, I, I think that's what we said. Probably another 20 in here. So, you know, for 30 minutes at stake, we'll just say 40 between the two totes at 
10 bucks a piece. We'll go with 10 bucks a piece. That's 400 bucks right there, two totes. Got a box, German Squad Ranger. I think it's more action figures. Yeah, there we go. Whole box of action figures. So like I said, I think these are one six, one six scale. Most of his toys were saying the, the vehicles and the figures and stuff are all one six scale. So they're the German squad of Rangers. It says Life Straw, H2O purifier times six. Large unit times one. It's definitely not that. So in this box, we got some more magazines. More magazines. We got some USGI shoot through muzzle covers. 20 count, $8 retail price. Got a couple stocks to, I'm assuming these are probably for rifles, just the way they look. And this is probably the same thing. Let's see, Tapco USA, probably little rifle ones. All right, so we got another tote. NBA, NBC mask and filters. NBC nuclear biological chemicals. That's what it stands for in the military. This is gonna be gas mask filters and stuff. So this one right here is a, uh, it's a filter for your um, NBC, your gas mask. It screws into your mask. We got a couple of them. A bunch of gas masks in here. So let's open up the gas mask. So there's a gas mask right there. Filter screws in right there. That's a little drinking tube right there. We hook a little drink tube to it right there. So let's put it on. Let's demonstrate. Gas, gas, gas. And the mask is gone. As you can see, I'm protected now. It's fogging up inside. I've airlocked the mask. I still remember how to do it, and I ain't been in the military in 14 years. <laughs> My eyes are fogging up. Hey, I gotta get a filter though. No chemicals getting through here. I'm you don't look good. So anyway, we just demonstrated how to put on NBC mask. Hope you liked it. Uh, my wife's walking by giving me the L sign. I mean, that means love. Every time she goes like this, I know she's telling me she loves me. Um, I've seen other people do it, it means loser, but I know that when she gives me that L sign, it means love. I love you too, Kara. So we found some, we found some black and white pictures, which I thought was really cool. I like this kind of stuff. Um, it's really cool black and white pictures. It shows like old, I don't know if you can see it. Um, I'll bring it around this side of the table. It's basically showing an old shop. Let's get the glare off of it. Old shop workers in like a bearing or uh, auto parts store. This picture's probably taken, you know, 30s, 40s. It's sort of cool. It's like how America was made. Now we've got another box. It says uh, helicopter on it. So we haven't run into any helicopters yet. We've got motorcycles, trucks, jeeps, dump trucks, troop carriers, but we haven't got any helicopters. So now it looks like we got our first helicopter. Helicopter, it's a mix, helicopter and plastic workout bottles. Check this out, we got some troops. We got the blade for here, I don't know if I can see that. We'll turn this around, there's the tail piece. So you put this together, it's gonna be a pretty cool piece. We got another crate, earlier we found one, I think a vehicle in it. But we got a tank. You can see it or not, but check that out. Two and a half foot, three foot tank. That one's made of that one's made of plastic. Kind of a military German, I'm assuming it's German World War II vehicle. Um, made of metal. Heavy duty. It's got some parts in the center. You can see a bunch of parts. There's even some some uh, drivers in here. I don't know if we can see inside here, but there's a little German guy there. Parts for the vehicle when you put it together. That's the gun nest, gun cover. So that right there, another hundred bucks easy all day long. Um, like I said, it might be more than that. I don't know. We'll have to research. Sherman tank. That one's probably. Got another camouflage desert model. Military style vehicle, um, made of metal, of course. It's actually pretty good detail. I think he might have done this one by hand. I don't know if this is an actual toy you can buy or what. I don't want to break it, but another one. Got one that says Sherman Tank. 
All right, so we found a turret, which is the top to a tank in an earlier box. So I would be willing to bet that turret we found earlier goes on the top of this tank right here. Because the turret's missing. We found a big turret, said the same thing, Sherman tank, extremely fragile. Um, there's a turret gun. Mm -hmm. So we got a big tote here. We got a camera off the tripod, it's a little heavy. So let's see, let's open it up, see what we got in there. All right, so it looks like we got military bags, military uniforms, we got a jacket, some camo, this is Marine Corps digital camo, I think I talked about that in the first video. Um, this is, if you look at the, the Marines in uniform, this is the pattern they use. We got some camo, some more camo, a lot of camo. Now this pattern right here, I don't know, it's not a U.S. branch camo, I can tell you that. Maybe a foreign camo. That's some crazy psychedelic stuff there. That style camo. The top. That's old woodland pattern. He said pattern. So the military used to wear these. Um, this was when I was in. When I first went in, I went in in the mid '90s. This was the pattern we had. That's called woodlands. And then sometime in the early 2000s, we switched to the digital pattern, which is this pattern right here. The Marine Corps did. Um, every branch has their own style digital um, color. But this is the old woodland pattern right here. This looks like it's all going to be military clothes. I'm not going to dig too much in it. We got insulated underwear, tops. We got some new stuff with tags. So that's a uh, what's that? Under Armour Polar Tech right there. Hey, comment down below if you want to see Hayden wear this next time. We do a video. We'll put Hayden in this. Actually, you know what? When we do our, our metal detecting video, and we show you different types of hunting. I'll make Hayden wear this camouflage the whole time out there, and we'll videotape him walking around. If we can see them, I don't know. It's a good pattern right here. I don't know what you blend in then. Maybe if you go into a rave bar, one of them rave clubs, wear this pattern right here, that might be messed up. Maybe Hayden wants to get on video and do an unboxing. I can do one. All right, well, let's get to this me, one. I'll, get, I'll tell you I'll what we'll do. I'll get we got, one. I'll get hold one. on, hold on. So we got, so we'll bring Hayden into the video. We got a challenge, me versus Hayden. Hayden's gonna pick a box and I'll pick a box like I did with the kids earlier and we'll see who wins. I think I'm one and one. I mean, you guys decide in the comments who wins each battle. But, see, he's over there picking, picking weight and measuring no, it. You I want to open it, retain it? I don't anymore? think this one's good. All right, so let's do this box first. Let me get this one out of the way. Right. And then you've got your box picked, and then I'll pick my box. We'll go from there. Rangers gone wild. Well, I'm glad I didn't say girls gone wild. <laughs> the Rangers gone wild. So this box has, let's see what we got here. A little platter. With grapes on it. What the living? I can't show you that one on video. That one's a little. Yeah, yeah Rangers that, Gone Wild. That one's a little. I think it. I think it is. Uh, Rangers Gone Wild. I think the box actually matched what it says. Look at this guy. He's a little lost because I don't know if he's not a U.S. military guy. He's got like a skull behind his head with a medieval sword and a machine gun. So he's he's a little confused in his time frame. You hear that? I hear it. Sounds like wood. I hope it's a box of rocks. But I feel like it probably is with my luck. I hope it's a box of rocks. 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 We'll see. Box of rocks. All right. Ah! I nailed it. See, I don't want a camera is. Woo! It's going to be an easy win. I'm going to be two and one today. We got some million dollar crystals. Looks like I won this one. This guy's full of it. <laughs> Show the box. Show the box. Show the I'll, bring box. Him, I'll bring him a rock. They say this is from Mars. That look, focus. There you go. No. Crystals. That's diamond. I don't even have to pick much That's of a diamond. I don't even have to pick much of a That's box. That's diamond. Diamond. Look. I, I'll grant it. You guys are side and bottom. I may, I may, I may have won against Cullen. I, I may have lost against Caleb. Vice no, versa. No, listen. Why else would he package rocks? So these have to be worth something. He packaged them because he had a military playset. And these were foundations for his town and so, everything else. So what are you going to do when you sell the place that no foundation? People's not going to... Uh, yeah, they will. The, this is irrelevant. These are ancient. This is irrelevant. These are ancient everything. time. Ancient times. Look, it's, I've got it's so ancient. Let me show you. So Hayden don't know. He, he's new at this whole uh, storage unit thing and that kind of stuff. He's the brains behind the video. But look, we've got a piece of metal PVC pipe with a cap through a piece of rock. He says it's ancient time. It's got to be worth something. You can go to Lowe's and buy this right now. And make your own rock. But can you like buy this. this at Lowe's? Probably. You can go to Portland. Only on eBay. 
If you want to, if you want to see this stuff on eBay, let us know. I'm not put on eBay, so I'm gonna go pick my box now. He's a, he actually, you know what we should do? So instead of him carrying a driver's license around, when they ask for his ID, he'll just pick one of these up and hold it up. Yeah, I'll get off the hook because he's, he's worth a, he's a million dollars. Cook, no, because he's a rock. <laughs> you military people will get that. One. All right, put your rock somewhere. Let me go pick my box. Oh, I didn't know these were still in it. All right, I, I tell you what. Yeah, pick the one. I'll uh, pick the one that he went to the back corner. Can you see me back here? You can't he went to the back corner and picked two boxes back here. He picked that one. I'm going to pick the other one. Hey, you can't beat this rock. It's got crystals all over it. This is easy win. Hey, remember, you guys decide. All I got to do is pull like a half a roll of used toilet paper out. I've already got this. No. Yeah, that's fine. No, it's not. That's a marble. All right, I'll give it to him. That's, that's marble that's countertop. Marble. That might be $10. That would be the world's smallest countertop. <laughs> if you know somebody got a countertop that's the, big, let me know. The place set. All right, move your, here we go. You know how easy this is going to be? Oh, this is a weird box right here. Yeah, no. He ain't got me beat though. I'm going to yes. get something right on top. No, I don't. This is a hodgepodge. I'll show you what a box looks like. Hodgepodge of stuff. So this is... These are some personal pictures. We're not going to pull these out. Hodgepodge of miscellaneous. All I need to do is find like a dollar bill in here. Some change. Something. Let's find one thing in here to beat them. That probably beats them. Let me know if you think that beats them. I think that beats a box of rocks. Yeah. It's going to beat them. Let me know. No. Don't look out. He said no. That's a uh, bike pump. Who wants a bike pump? Who wants a box of rocks? Uh, an Allen key set. What's more useful, a rock or an Allen key set? Rock. All right, let us know. I can't find much in there. Rocks, Texas Instrument calculator. Rocks or box of miscellaneous. Stuff. Let us know. We got another box. It says tank, I think is what it says. All right, motorcycle. We got another cool little motorcycle. You guys see that right there? Got my, woo! Woo! <laughs> is it big? Almost lost it. Almost lost it. So that wraps up the boxes. We've pretty much gone through all the boxes, looked through them. There's a lot of research to be done. We're going to show you the furniture, some other stuff we told you in part one. We show you the furniture. And that kind of stuff. There's a couple more things we got on the shelf that was that weren't in boxes when we brought in. And I'll show you real quick. A couple of F and B dials, 1980s, WC Fields, F and B dial, various military models come in the box. The I've had these before. These things don't go for a whole lot. Military men, miniature models. Got some models here. Tamaya makes all these. We're gonna take the camera off. We're gonna show you some of the furniture, some of the other stuff that come out of the unit. We've gone through all the boxes. Now we got a lot of work to do ourselves. We've got to research, figure it out. If you guys are interested, let us know. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you didn't like. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Subscribe. Hit that bell. Tell your friends. Hit the bell. Help us grow. My wife would love it at this point because if we get to, again, 1,000 subscribers, I shaved the beard off. It's gone. I'm back to a baby face. Help the wife out before we go to Disney in the spring. So in the unit, we had we had some loose stuff, some furniture. So if you look over here, we got some bikes. If uh, we get Hayden to come around here, I'll show you some of the bikes we got. Um, actually, a couple good bikes in here. I don't know if you can get to the side and show them. We got a Cannondale bike. That's a big name in the bike to look for. Cannondale right there, F600. That's an older style bike, but I guarantee that bike frame's worth 400 bucks. Look on eBay. Check it out yourself. Check out Cannondale F600. Look it up. See what they're selling for. Some furniture over here. Hey, I'll show you. We've got some pine style furniture. And this is what I was talking about in the first part video when I said profile on the units. You can see this style, blocky style furniture in two different units. And that's how I put two and two together along with the military stuff I saw. And figured it was probably the same owner and that made me buy both of them. Um, we got some, we got Kayla in the chair giving a peace sign. Piece of furniture here. Big blocky cabinet. That's actually not a bad piece. We'll get, we'll get a couple hundred bucks out of that piece, hundred and a half. We got some china in the drawers we pulled out. Got a little hutch style. And if Hayden spins around, we got some. So we were going, we haven't even gone through this yet, but if you look down here, boxes. The furniture all is full of stuff too. We haven't gone through. Military men. I mean, the military toys are just outrageous in this thing. All over the place. Oh, I just dumped down all up. Fox furs. Check this out. Get rid of this hat. Tell me what you think. Good luck for me or not? Good luck. Hey, you want me to wear this in a future video? Let me know down below. Comment. Sort of creepy. Got a little wolf. 
little wolf fur. Got some hats, some leathers, gun belts. Four butcher block tables. This is a heavy piece right here. This old butcher block cutting table. This right here, these things sell really well for us. Every time I've had a butcher block table, I don't think I've got less than a hundred and a half for it. Some of them I've got way more than that. So that's the leg sport over there. This is the top. This thing probably weighs an easy 150 pounds. This thing's this thing's heavy. I'm sliding it sideways, don't look like that much, but if I had to pick it up, probably have trouble. Butcher block tables, they sell good. You gotta put on a pallet jack. A wood stove. That thing right there is a beast. I'm not sure what we're gonna get for that. I'll probably put it locally because it's so heavy. I'll probably put it locally and, and sell it locally, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Probably a sweet deal for somebody needs a wood stove. To do a recap, hey, no pan out. This is all the toys we've got to research right here. If you look in the middle, all the toys we still got to reach, re research through, figure out what we're gonna do with them. We got shelves full of stuff over there. Come to the back, you know, to the part one, part two, and now this part. Um, we've got the few guns we found on those shelves over there. Got a lot of stuff to do now. The work's gonna start um, researching, figuring out what we're gonna do with it. Hey, thanks for joining us. Make sure you hit that bell, like, and subscribe. Tell us how we're doing. We're new to this. This is our fourth video now. Um, check us out. Check the links down below. If you want to see our eBay store, you want to see our website, you want to see our TikTok, our Instagram, look at the links below. Let us know what you want to see. Hey, thanks for joining us. See you next time.